Hey, get out of my fridge. You drink it again? Dude, when I said make yourself at home, I didn't say drink everything out of my refrigerator. Sheesh. I'd like three more puzzle, please. Thank you. Pleasure doing business with you. Now get out of here. Drinking all my booze, eating all my food. Good morning, survivors. Polly Jr. here, and welcome back to Minecraft 1.18. Hardcore survival mode. We're here at the Pink Sheep Clan Bluff House, and it's coming along quite nicely, if I do say so myself. I made a few modifications based on some of your uh, your recommendations and tips and tricks and suggestions down in the comments below. Keep them coming, along with the likes. It's very much appreciated. And now it is time to uh, get started on a fireplace. We're going to put a fireplace right over here. I'm going to knock this wall out right there and then put a brick fireplace and I'm working on some brick. I went out and got a bunch of clay balls. Oh, wow, we're full. Uh, and we got them cooking up right here in the kitchen. By the way, I did a little remodeling here, again, based on some of your suggestions. In particular, I changed the uh, chest into barrels and they look, they look really good. They got the little handle there on the side and they look definitely more like real cabinetry. And I moved the uh, refrigerator over a little bit. I got rid of the countertop, unfortunately. Uh, we needed that space back because I wanted to centerize the door, which was not centerized. So, is that a word? Centerized? <laughs> it was off center. And I like it like this better. I'm a very symmetrical type person, so I like that much better. And I put a little front garden. I'm still working on it. This is not going to be permanent. I don't think we might extend the fence out a little bit but i wanted to keep the creepers away from the front door and we got some bushes in front um and i changed the window style just a tiny tiny bit and put some nice uh stone in front some stone slabs and now the door is centerized and i like it all right so we're gonna make a brick fireplace right here let's go ahead and whip up some bricks and there we go all brand new recipes cool Wow, only 16 bricks from a full stack of 64 uh, bricks. So, yeah, we're going to have to go out and get a lot more clay, but uh, there's plenty of it out there. I know where we can get clay and lots of it back at the um, back at the Lush Cave, or Lush's Cave. <laughs> clay everywhere over there, right? But, uh, well, that's pretty far, and I don't think we're going to be heading back there anytime soon, I don't think. All right, let's knock this wall out. We're going to get on this project right away. No time to waste. I almost cut my face off on this glass, but that glass has to go. That glass has to go because we need to... Uh, well, to do it, do it, do it, do it, maybe. It may be due. Uh, yeah, let me let me get rid of this. I think the glass is going to go over here. That's where the window is going to be, and I don't have a silk touch, which is sad, but we don't... Uh, we haven't found a silk touch book yet. Hopefully, we can find one sooner or later. We can turn... A, uh, a villager into a librarian and then maybe get some of the books we're after like mending and silk touch okay yeah 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 it's all coming together now so we're gonna have to get rid of all of this actually this whole uh, birch wall so my idea here is a brick fireplace all the way up um, should it be double size or one I don't know yeah I think a small fireplace is fine right we'll put a campfire right here I think that should do just dandy which means we're gonna have to get rid of that glass I don't like the glass touching the brick so let's um let's get rid of it, it might get so hot it could melt that glass and we'll put in uh some birch right there yeah yeah that looks good and this is gonna go all the way up to the second floor and we're gonna put a brick fireplace right here as well so we're gonna get rid of some of this and see where we're at right there oh nope 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 right two for the job there we go yeah and this is gonna come all the way up we'll have another um fireplace right here in the bedroom so it's gonna be nice and cozy warm in those cold cold winters over here it's gonna be glorious and now uh, we need to go out and get more brick. <laughs> Holy smokes. Speaking of smokes, let's not smoke, but let's make a campfire. Do I not have a campfire in here already? I do not, but we're going to need some uh, logs for that, right? Yep, just like that. That's what I thought. What, what the heck? Hey, Waldo! What you doing, buddy? 
Come on in. <laughs> He's over here. All right, yeah, you want to come in? Come on in. Uh, leave your llamas outside, though, okay? Yeah, leave them outside. Maybe we'll get some leads out of this. <laughs> You can't squeeze through the window or the door, so they're just gonna wait right there, okay? It looks like you're stuck inside. Hold on, we're making a, uh, making a fireplace. Old Waldo is here. Isn't that a nice surprise? Um, all right, we're gonna need... Yeah, hold on, I'll be right with you. We're gonna need some of these. It's kind of a weird time to show up. You like the place? You Yeah, it's a fireplace. I just said that. We're making a fireplace. It's pretty nice, right? Um, let's... Well, we can just put the fire right on top of the dirt. Can you really see the dirt? Yeah, yeah, actually you can, can't you? Oh boy. All right, well, I'm gonna have to make a new fireplace. A new fire, because that, yes, you're right. Because mm -hmm. that is not gonna come back, unfortunately. All right, got another campfire. It only requires three wood blocks. What are you doing out there? It's a little dangerous, don't you think, buddy? Well, he is uh, attached to a lead, so if he falls, I guess he'll just hang, which is pretty bad. What is that up there? Just some brick, I'll get that later. Um, you know, I could have just dug underneath it, right? And got rid of the dirt that way. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I wasn't thinking. This wall, though, really uh, kind of threw me off. Uh, what is that? That's just dirt. Do we need that dirt? No, I don't think so. All right, let's put a little stone slab in here. I'd rather have brick, to be honest. But we're all out of brick for the time being. We're going to have to go get some. I did not do anything down in the basement yet. We're going to have to uh, make a way, like a nice, safe convenient passage down to the uh to the grotto uh i think uh yeah i think three is plenty there in front we don't have to come out any farther i don't think uh-huh what do you mean yeah you like it okay i think you, you like the kitchen too yeah it's brand new just made it myself um <clears throat> do you mind thank you please do not stand on the table that's disgusting where have your feet been i have no idea I have no idea. I don't want to know. Hey, how did llama get inside the house? No, you can't go to the second floor. <laughs> get down here. Hey, that's my private bedroom, Waldo. What is wrong with you, man? Thank you. Come on down here. Stay down here. Now, this could be a problem because everyone's going to walk into it and get burned, especially Waldo. Not the sharpest tool in the shed, if you know what I mean. So let me go up and get some... Uh... Oh, what's he doing? He's drinking. He's drinking. Did you get that out of my fridge? He's gone. Oh, no, he's not. He's right there. He's invisible. <laughs> hey, while you're down there, you want to clean the stove out? It's a little dirty. Yeah, boy, this guy. Make yourself useful. I'm going to grab the iron. We're going to make an iron grating. And, uh, really, dude. I'm going down. Move it. Move it. Move your butt. Get off the stairs. Uh, hey, can you keep your llamas in line? Waldo, is that you right there? <laughs> yep. I smell them. Yes, I do. Uh, all right, what was I doing now? <laughs> Although this is quite a distraction. This is quite a distraction. I didn't plan on this guy showing up. So I'm trying to get some work done here, buddy. Sorry, everybody. But uh, he was not invited. He just showed up uninvited. So there we go. That should keep everybody safe, all the pets, from walking into the fire and burning themselves. It's so warm and cozy. We're just going to do something about the hole here. Um, which means we're going to have to go out and get some more clay. Right? Right, Waldo? Alright, so that's what we're gonna do. Do I have any clay in here? No. Alright, I think I'm gonna go to bed, and then we'll wake up, we'll go get some clay, and, uh, I think, um... Well, let's see what Waldo has for sale here. Uh, Waldo, where'd you go? And hey, where are those leads? I should get, I should get those leads now. Yep, extra leads. You wanna go in? You, you can't fit, you gotta go through the double door. Well, let's see what Waldo has for trade. Where'd you go, buddy? I don't, oh, there you are in the corner. Whoop, 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 whoop. He's gone. You didn't have to drink your invisibility potion in the house. It's safe in here. We have doors and walls. Are you there? Yeah, he's there. Uh huh. Ooh, cactus. Podzol's pretty good too. I do have some emeralds, I think, upstairs. Black dye, melon seeds, blue orchid, podzol. Is any of this really worth it? Yeah, well, I'm not asking you, I'm asking everybody else. <laughs> I know what you think. I know you want me to buy it. Let me go see how many emeralds I have. Because I'm not sure any of that is actually worth it. The pods all could be good because we can't actually get that. I have five emeralds. Oh. Hey, get out of my fridge. You're drinking again? Dude, when I said make yourself at home, I didn't say drink everything out of my refrigerator. Sheesh. You should put a lock on that thing. 
Waldo. Uh -huh. Where, yeah, is that you're right there? Okay. I think I'm gonna buy the pods all. Huh. Yes, I will. Let's do it. Huh. Thank you very much. Pleasure doing business with you. I wish I had one more emerald. Oh, actually, yeah, I know, right? Um, there is one more emerald up there. I did happen to see it when I was uh, up there looking for um, animals. And I found uh, a cave, and there was one emerald in there. I wanted to keep it there for you guys to see it. So maybe we should go get that right now, and then we can get some more Podzol. Because Podzol is going to allow us to grow... Uh, mushrooms in any light level, right? And giant mushrooms, too. Which is kind of fun to make, um, to put them in, like, a yard and have, like, a big mushroom field in your yard. Uh-huh. See? He knows. Um, excuse me, get off the stove, dude. This is why we don't allow llamas in the house. Oh, don't you dare spit in here. Don't you dare. I will throw you right off the ledge down into the bluff. Uh, the grotto, rather. All right, so let's go get one more emerald, and then we'll buy some extra pods all. Actually, before we do that, I should go to bed. <laughs> oh, you want some furniture? Yeah, let's give let's give Waldo a place to sit down. We're gonna have a couch right here anyway, probably in front of the fire like that, like a yeah three seater, and then maybe over here we'll do like a little a little seat. One seat? Maybe a love seat. Dude, you're really going back upstairs again? That llama wants to sleep in my bed. Yeah, uh-huh. I don't think he's going to fit. Besides, he's going to make it smell. Yeah, there we go. Um, that looks kind of nice, I guess. Have a seat, Waldo. Relax, would you? <laughs> he's standing on the couch. <laughs> he was. All right, I'm going to run up and grab that emerald. You're not going to leave, are you? You're gonna make yourself at home, Waldo. I'll be right back. Oh, there you are. No, don't go. Hey, come back. I don't think Waldo's going to disappear any faster if we sleep. So let's go ahead and do that. Excuse me. You're in the way again. Um, yeah, let's sleep. And then we'll go up and grab that emerald in the morning. We'll come back down, make the trade. And it'll finish up. Uh, uh, everything. What? You're not peeing on my floor, are you? What is going on down here? Get this llama out of here. Come on, you, out. You don't belong in the house. We're going. Um, I'm wondering if we should tame one of these. I wish we could see the size of their trunk before taming them, because we don't really need more llamas around, but <laughs> this is the only way to check their trunk space. So let's see how much junk we can put in your trunk, buddy. Just don't run off the cliff, okay, with me on your back? <laughs> okay. Um, six slots, not great, not terrible. And then we'll, we'll take, oh my gosh, dude, really? Yeah, right on the edge, yeah, come over here, please. By the way, I think today, if we have time, I'd like to get a patio made up right here. So when you walk out that door, it's a nice stone patio. I did not expect this distraction from Waldo. <laughs> so it is what it is, we're just gonna make the best of it. Oh, look at this guy, nine spaces. You're pretty good, buddy. Excellent. Okay, well, um, don't go far, okay? We'll be back. We'll be right back. We're just gonna go check on this, on these emeralds. Don't leave, Waldo. We'll be right back. Make yourself at home, but don't eat all my food or drink all my water. Just stay out of the fridge. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, let's go. Let's go grab, uh, we'll grab the horse, Oreo, and head on up and grab that emerald really quick. There might be more than one. We will bring Lagatha with us on this quick trip. Grab the horsey. Come on, Oreo. Out we go. Close the door. And let's go. Right on up here. Oh. So anyway, this is where we want to put the sheep, the pink sheep, up here. It's a giant pasture. Lots of poppies, little bunny rabbits, spy chickens, which we can eliminate. Uh, we do have some wild wolves up here. We're going to have to do something about them. Because they do not mix with sheep. So I did protect these sheep right here. Made a little quick pen for them. But I'm thinking about making this whole area right here. Just like a wide open free range ranch slash farm. It will grow crops up here. Or just let all the animals uh, run wild. You know. Including the pink sheep. <laughs> Hi bunny. What you doing down here buddy? Go play in the grass. What's wrong with you? That bunny wants to be a miner. All right. Out of the way, out of the way. Here's our emerald right here. I'm gonna use the golden pickaxe. 
Uh, wait, can we get can we get emeralds and golden pickaxes? I don't think we can get emerald with a golden pickaxe. So just to be on the safe side, we'll use our iron, which I know does indeed work. And it was just one, huh? Oh my gosh, what a shame. But that is pretty cool that we found emerald way up here in the mountains. In fact, you'll find more emeralds in higher elevations. All right, we got one emerald. That's all we need, three total to get some more podzol. We'll get six podzol, then we can do some uh, some huge mushrooms and have like a big mushroom field up here that will look pretty cool. All right, let's get back before Waldo hits the road and heads to town. He's just on his way to town. He thought he'd stop off and say hi. Okay, we're gonna go right around back. Oh, Waldo, watch out, beep beep. Whoa, 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 what, what, what am I on? <laughs> Going around the corner here. Just wanted to put the horse over here. And now let's go grab some Podzol. Hey, we got another emerald. I'd like three more Podzol, please. Thank you. Pleasure doing business with you. Now get out of here. I'm drinking all my booze, eating all my food. Sheesh. All right. Now, what were we doing? Um, Working on the fireplace. We're going to have to go get some more clay. All right. Let's just go upstairs and get this campfire down. Just gonna put one of these here and the campfire down right there. And then we'll do the same right here in front. Hey Waldo, how you doing? <laughs> mm-hmm. Man of few words, that Waldo. So now we have a nice fireplace up here in the second floor. Obviously, we just have to finish the chimney. And we just need to go get some clay for that and make some more bricks. So that is the next step, my friends. I'm gonna get organized and get ready for that trip. Carrying around this official sacred pink wool. Um, I was going to make some carpeting in here with the sacred pink wool. Maybe a new bed. Uh, why don't we just put a carpet here in front of the doors. So these guys can wipe their feet. Especially that Waldo. And the llamas. There we go. Good enough for now. Okay. Let me get organized. And we'll head out. And go find some more clay. Oh, <laughs> Waldo's drinking his potion again, turning on his cloaking device. Dude, you could just come inside where it's safe. You don't have to do that. You're going to get addicted to it. Ay, 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 that guy. All right, let's go ahead and make a an official pink sheep clan bed with the official 100% natural and organic pink sheep wool. Uh, and this will give us a lovely night's rest here and give us power in the morning to to shine to really shine and perform at our best oh look at that beautiful all right good night <laughs> uh, oh wow i feel so much rested and so much power wow oh <clears throat> yeah anyway can you keep an eye on all of my, my pets all right appreciate it we'll be back shortly let's grab the horse and let's go where is oreo what the heck happened to oreo please don't tell me oreo fell down into the grotto don't see Oreo down there. Uh, maybe Oreo ran off into the woods? <laughs> I don't know. This is weird. Oh, what the heck? Oreo, what are you doing down there in the hole? ay 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 How did you get down there? It's dangerous down there. Skeletons and spiders. Zombies. Oh, my. How are we going to get Oreo up? And how the heck did Oreo get down there? I don't think Oreo would have done that on his, on his own. It's not that dumb. Maybe somebody knocked him. Did, did, did you? Was it you? Let me see that face. Let me see that face. Uh, look a little guilty there, buddy. Did anybody see anything? Mum's the word, huh? Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> All the animals are sticking together. <laughs> All right, fine. We need to go down here and get the horse. Uh, I guess we could just take a boat. I kind of wanted to go off in this direction and explore. See what's over here and try to keep an eye open for an azalea tree, which would indicate a lush cavern beneath us, right? Um, and there's a ton of clay in lush caverns, as we know. I think I'm going to jump down. I think I can make... Yep, made it. Oh, gosh. Ow! Oh, dang it. Right, there's a skeleton. Oh, that's a good idea. You come into the water with me. <laughs> Ding dong. You had the high ground. I was in the water. Man, good help is hard to find these days, I guess, for the warden, huh? Sending his minions at us. All right. Ding dong. What are you doing down here? Come on. Let's go. Got to get you out of here. And then we got to go find some clay. So I think we're going to go by boat. Didn't bring a boat though, did I? No, I did not. All right. Well, 
Let's put a workbench down here. It can't hurt. I'm going to come down here and build a, a little grotto boathouse or something eventually anyway. So this will be a good start. That in the water. And I do have one lead. Snatch you and let's go. Let's put a torch up here. Light that up a little. All right. Now we go. Whee! Come on, Oreo. <laughs> this is what happens. <laughs> When you jump into holes, but I do think I think there was some foul play involved. I think somebody pushed Oreo off the cliff. I think it was one of those llamas. Llamas are very jealous of horses. That's what I've been told. It's pretty pretty common knowledge. Alright, let's look for some clay. There's gonna be a bunch right here along the edges, but I was hoping to explore by land, but that seems to be uh, out of the question right now. So we're on plan B. And keep your eyes open for azalea trees, because that would make things very easy if we found a lush cave. Tons of clay down there. All right, here we go. I'm going to have to attach you there, buddy. All right, now you can't get into any mischief. <laughs> I don't think, anyway. All right, so here's how we do the door trick to make it easier to mine this stuff. You put the door down, get inside, put your feet down on solid ground, and then you can dig... At full speed, clay, of course, is just going to rise to the surface and we can collect it all after we're done. Gonna grab the door. Swim on over here and grab all my balls. Balls everywhere. Floaty, floaty balls. All right, just like that. Now, let's grab this and let's go. That is uh, that's a full stack, exactly one full stack. Pretty cool stuff. Now, what happened to that lead? There it is. Onward we go. It's a dead end. Hello, Peggy. I see you back there. Yep. Good morning to you too. We're here, some. We don't even have to. Don't have to do anything special for this clay right here. We can stand up on solid ground. All right. Let's continue on. Get some more clay. What is this right here? This looks very interesting. It's all, uh, it's all stone. It's like a stone outcropping. All right, let's go check this out, actually. We're going to ride up there and explore on horseback. Whoa, watch out for the holes. Uh, oh, did I just see? I did not just see a pink sheep. Okay, nope. False alarm. It's just a piggy wiggy. Oop, there's a spider down here. Must be a cave underneath this. But we don't have time to explore. We're looking for looking for clay. I think I see some. I think I, oh. <laughs> I think I see some right there. Okay, you're gonna stay here. I'm not gonna tie you up. You can graze. Just don't go anywhere. All right, just a little bit more on the other side over there. I'm gonna go snag that, and then we're just gonna head back. I think we have enough at least to finish this particular project. Oh, there's a bunch right here too. Um, it is starting to get dark, though, and I don't want to lose my horse, and I think I lost my horse. Uh, dude, get, o get over here! No, we're not going down in the hole. I know, they all lead to adventure, but we're just gonna get home. I don't know if we'll have time to do the patio, but that's something we'll do very soon. Look at that house. It looks amazing. Um, yeah, I want to set up the patio and even put, like, a pond in there for our axolotl little peep who's up there in like a, a two by two square right now <laughs> and that's just not right all right come on horsey and you're sinking aren't you yep you sure are oh boy it's luscious hey luscious how we doing buddy you take the boat out today sure help yourself try not to beach it okay i know you know how to sail i'm sorry <laughs> uh I see bubbles. Is that you, Waldo? Waldo's still here. Um, why don't you come on inside and make some hot tea? Just wipe your feet on the rug, okay? I know you're standing right there. I can see your bubbles. Where'd you go? All right, fine. If you want to stay out there, that's that's on you, bro. Oh, boy. Wow. Um, I'm going to bring these over to the quarry. I've got a lot of ovens over here. Pink Sheep Bluff Quarry right here. Oh, we got some stuff in here, too. Oh, look who it is. Billy Broccoli without any broccoli, though. So now he's just carrying dirt. Wow. Times are rough, huh, buddy? <laughs> yeah, I don't need it. But thanks anyway. Don't need it. So let's go inside and get this job done. 
Um, I think we might now have enough brick to do it. All right, let's have a tater tot. We'll do this right now while it's dark. Let us make some stairs. So let's just do a little bit of a design, make it look... Whoa, whoa, Billy? What's up, buddy? Billy tried to come in and he got burned. <laughs> yeah, there's no safety rail on that side. Sorry, pal. Yeah, that looked like it hurt. Uh, let's just go ahead and put some... Stair no, not like that. Not like that. I want it like this. Give it a little, little depth. And then all the way out, like so. Now, obviously, we're going to cover up the back side with brick. Sun's coming up now, so it seems relatively safe. Don't know what happened to Billy. Not sure how far down the brick is going to go, but I guess we'll just put that in like so. Up. Up, just to block it from our view on the inside. And then we just cover this up. And, oh boy, wait a second. Yeah, that's not going to work. So we're going to have to fill these gaps in with brick. And we'll see how that looks up top. That looks really blocky, doesn't it? <laughs> Maybe a little too blocky for my taste. I think I might do something different here. How about we do... Let's move this up a little bit and see how that looks. Like this. We'll raise it up one and see how that looks. How about that? And that seems pretty high. So how about if we bring this down a little bit? Just a little trial and error here. Not sure exactly how I want to do this. Like that, maybe? Yeah. Okay, that, that's good. I like that. That looks nice. So we have some mantle space for hanging stuff up on our mantles here. We can put uh, item frames here or paintings or whatever on the sides. And we can even put some stuff here in front. So now let's go up and check the top and see how that looks. Brick is still coming. Wow. That's a poop ton of bricks, as they say. Eh, it's not exactly how they say it, but chimney's going to come down like this in front. And then I think this one we can go a little bit lower. Let's try it. A little bit lower here. Yeah, and then in the back there. Oh, oh gosh. Don't put your feet on the pink sheep bed. What's wrong with you? Um, let's pop those out. And we're going to have brick go all the way up in the back. This might be easier to do from the outside, but we're just going to do it from here. Yep, grab that brick. I'm going to step back without falling down. Yeah, see, that's the chimney. Looks nice. And then this has to go, too. It has to be all brick. Bye-bye. Right here. All the way up, and I'll have to do that from the outside. Um, you know what I would like to do is get some windows in here. I'm thinking maybe pop one of these bricks out. Two bricks out. That one there. And how about a window here by the bed? Yeah, I want to be able to get some fresh air in here. You know what I mean? So that's the way we're going to have to do that. Place that log. Let's go get some wood. Uh, some glass. All right, two bits of glass. What's up, girl? You know what? You've been a good girl. You've been a good girl. Here you go. Have a treat. Good girl. All right, now let's go put the glass in, and then we'll finish up the... Uh, we'll finish it up on the outside. I guess we'll just put blocks in just like that. That looks very nice. And we get a little sunshine and maybe some fresh air when we open the windows. But we can't really open windows, can we? We can pretend. <laughs> There's a whole lot of pretend in Minecraft. Now, let's go out back. We don't have official scaffolding, but we do still have some dirt back here. Oh, hey, Billy. Billy looks really, really sad without his broccoli. Yeah, we can just use dirt um, as our scaffolding for the time being. And then this is just going to go all the way up. Just going to have to go get some more bricks because we're running low right now. But we have plenty more cooking up. But at least to give you an idea of how this is going to look, I'm going to get up top there and go all the way to the top and replace all that with brick. Yeah, and that will be our chimney. And I'll do something at the very top so the smoke can go all the way and continue up into the sky and we can see it. And it'll look like a real, real chimney and real smoke coming from a real fire. Because it is, right? Pretty cool stuff. 
All right, let me just quickly get organized here and then we'll uh, we'll go do that. I'm going to have to get some more bricks. Wow, check out that pink sky. It is gorgeous. I love this view. What do they say about pink skies at night? Jeeves, do you know? Pink sky at night? Something about sailing. Pink sky at night, uh, sailor's delight, right? Pink sky in the morning, sailor's warning. Right, so we should go sailing uh, tomorrow. <laughs> or soon. But not right now. It's late and we have things to do. Let's hop into bed and we'll finish this job. Good night. Oh, sleeping with a brick in my hand. <laughs> That seems dangerous, but don't try this at home, kids. I'm a professional. Uh, this is kind of weird because these don't actually need to be here. However, the glass like that looks kind of odd as well. Maybe we should just put these back um, right here. Yeah, I think that looks fine. I like it. In fact, I like it a lot. Yeah, that's beautiful. All right, now, let's put these away. I really do need to get organized. And, oh, no, we don't need the rain. Rain, rain, go away. Trying to make a chimney today. Hey, that rhymed. That's cool. Um, I don't want to use up all of our regular bricks because I want to use these for other things, like making pots for flowers in here. We could use some, uh, some vegetation inside, like a nice pretty plant right here I'm thinking let's just put that down there for now and maybe one in the corner over here I'm gonna put some tables and things in here I'm just gonna have to get some uh, get some decor and some furniture for that oh my man it rains here a lot doesn't it let's go out through the uh, balcony over here so many ways up onto my roof it's still leaking by the way I might have to call an actual roofer to come and fix that because I am not a professional when it comes to roofing. We should cover this, though, huh? Maybe with a slab. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going? We could use a brick slab, I'm thinking. Um, well, let's just cap it off with that for now, and I'll take a look from afar and see how that looks, but a brick, stone brick slab might, uh, might look nicer. Now you, buddy, you can go, and you can go. Well, let's just... Go on up. We'll just pillar on up. Want the smoke to rise right up. We're running very low on brick yet again. But I want this to all match. And look pretty. Alright. Excellent. Now, maybe get rid of you too. Yes. Okay. Look at that, guys. I like it. At least from this angle. <laughs> We're going to have to go over there. And look at it from that angle and see how it looks. Scaffolding is all gone now, so let's um, well, let's hop on down and go check it out. Yeah, that looks great. Look at that. The smoke coming out the top just a little bit. Barely visible, but it looks good. And I think I'll cap these off with the smooth stone as well. Um, and those windows look fine capped off with the smooth stone. Um, all right. Well, I think that's it for now, my friends. I know I said we would possibly do the patio today but we are out of time this um this episode is definitely long enough it's funny how time flies when you're having fun especially when you go on random adventures in between the building which is what uh, we like to do here it's all legit everything's legit and it takes time to do it legit and this is just fantastic i'm just gonna sit right here oh wait actually you know what i wanted to do is put some furniture up up here as well, near the fire. So we can sit by the fire up here. And then if we ever get a friend to come and visit, we'll put a little chair right there. Look at that, guys. I love it. Beautiful. So cozy in here. Well, except for the leaking roof. <laughs> Gonna have to call a professional. Let me go open up my iPad and get on Google and uh, see if we can find a local, local roofer. And with that, my friends, I think we're going to call it quits. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you next time. And I will do a little bit of uh, organizing off camera here and get some more decoration up. Wow. Holy cow. It's bad out today, but we're inside. It's so cozy with the fire going. Oh, I love it. Great. All right. Anyway, that's it for now for realies, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.